Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Cloud Thinking. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the bell notification so you're notified every time I put out a new video. If you have, thank you for your support. So today's video, we're going to continue on with our tutorial series. Today's video will be how to save a file to your computer. So I've mentioned this before in these tutorial videos and some of my courses. It's essential to understand the save functionality with Microsoft Office productivity software. This will ultimately help you avoid loss of data and progress that you've made on your documents. The reason I elaborate on this so much is no matter who you are, uh, no matter how much experience you have with, with Office, at some point in time you have lost a file that you have been working on for a while, right? So it is always best to save as often as possible. So let's go ahead and take a look at how to save a file. All right, so after opening the file for the first time, it is best to go ahead and perform the initial save of the file. So what this does is it allows you to save the file pretty easily throughout your progress after that. So uh, the whole function is very simple really, but you know, after you save the first time, then it's, you know, you're, it's as easy as hitting an icon after that, which I'll show you. So, first thing you want to do is you're going to click File. Then you're going to select Save As. So at this point, you'll go ahead and click the Browse option. A Save As window will open. And you're going to type the file name in right in this section so whatever your choice of file name that you want it to be and you're going to choose the file format so there's a drop down to actually select a drop down and by default if it's a word document it will be a word document if it's a powerpoint then it'll be in a powerpoint format uh, spreadsheet same thing so you can go down through and select it you can also like to save as a pdf or xps and that will let you save it in that format as well. Uh, you go ahead and click save. So let's go ahead and take a look at this on a real document. All right, so as you can see, I now have a Word document open. First thing I'm gonna do is click file, go down to the save as option, select that. And it comes up with several options. For the first save, I'm gonna actually click the browse button and the window will open for save as and again you can go and select your options so of course I want to save it desktop and then I will actually save it to this area I won't select any of the folders in here if you do you can keep opening different folders and actually go further into the directory depending on how far in you want to navigate into folders that are on your desktop to save this file we're gonna name it test and I'm gonna leave it in the Word document format. There's no need to convert it to any other type. So we'll leave that and then we'll hit save. And then that will actually save. You can go to your desktop. And again, you see the test document that I saved right here. So some tips. So after you've saved a file for the first time, you can actually click your icon right here for save and it will actually save that since you already have the document saved for the first time and named it actually as you as you progress you can actually click that and it will save any progress so it's a quick option and again I've simply moved this down so you can actually move this back up and this is where you know your save icon would typically be so again you can hit save or you can simply hit control s and it saves the document so again, as I said, after your initial save, every now and then you want to hop up here and you want to click that save icon to save your work. And that's going to be it for this video, everyone. If you liked the video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. I hope everyone enjoyed the video and hope you have a good night.